Welcome back to The Guardian TV. Here's what to expect in tomorrow's headlines. Being the 12th of June 2024, this is tomorrow's news today. Starting with our national headlines, Tinubu to security agencies go after attackers of Katsina communities. The federal government declares June 12th a public holiday to mark Democracy Day in Nigeria. No political will to end banditry. Tinubu is not getting proper briefing, says Dauda Lawal. Prosecute ex-governors who misappropriated local government funds, Sullivan Chime tells federal government. Ireti Kingibe protests exclusion as Senate passes 98 billion Naira Federal Capital Territory Supplementary Budget. Namdi Kanu sues the federal government, the Department of State Services, DSS, and the Director General over refusal to obey court order on visitation. Civilian staff of Defense Ministry protest brutalization by military in Abuja. The Permanent Secretary of the Foreign Affairs Ministry has been accused of sexual harassment by married subordinates. Lagos State Government unveils two-year plan to install closed-circuit television CCTV cameras at transport hubs and bus stops. Classes and offices have been destroyed as fire raises Kano School of Technology. Two officers and one civilian have been killed as gunmen attack police checkpoints in Imo State. Onto our business headlines, manufacturers secure court order restraining electricity distribution companies, DISCOs, and Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission, NERC, from increasing electricity tariff. The Nigerian National Petroleum Company, NMPC, signs a floating liquefied natural gas, LNG, deal with Gola liquefied natural gas. Lagos State Government to expand cowrie ticket integration to all public transport modes within two years. In our international stories, a missing plane carrying Malawi's vice president have been found with no survivors. Hunter Biden has been found guilty of lying about drug use to buy a gun. Finally, in sport news, we'll fight hard to qualify for World Cup, Eagles assure Nigerians. Lewandowski to miss Poland's Euro 2024 opener with injury, says Federation. For more details of the news and more interesting coverages, do visit our website at guardian.ng or get a copy of our newspaper from your closest newsstand. Remember to follow us on all social media platforms at Guardian Nigeria. If Nayawachiku is my name, good night.